All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella. And I'm Haley. And today we're going to be reacting to Apollo 13. This is a movie that came out in 1995. It's about the Apollo 13 mission, which I believe was the failed mission to the moon. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a very pretty famous film. It's got some famous moments, some famous lines. Neither of us have seen it. Um, it's got Tom Hanks in it, who we love. He was excellent. We just saw him in The Green Mile, as well as Bill Paxton is in this and bill paxton was he was in our alien or our terminators all those days so it'll be a little i don't know a little blast in the past i'm pretty excited to get into it i think we're both going in pretty blind so it'll be an experience as always the full-length reaction will be up on our patreon along with early access to next week's reaction so please go check that out thank you guys for being here joining us and watching and yeah let's just get into apollo 13. i'm a little scared um, just because it seems like those really crazy sci-fi space movies like Aliens and Star Wars and things like that, that doesn't bother me. But when yep. space movies are very realistic, which I assume this one will be because it's based off of true events, that kind of freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Gravity was a and little stuff. stressful, so. And after that sudden and horrible fire that killed American astronauts, Gus Grissom's entire world watched in awe landed on the moon. Module is your attitude and your relative speed. Kevin Bacon. True. Is that true? Absolutely. And, and, and Tracy, I'll tell you, when you feel that I'm sure the fly. astronauts are very, very popular. Jim Lovell. This, this is the man. Gemini 7, Gemini 12, Gemini. Apollo 8. They were Stop the first ones around the moon. What a weird way to pronounce that word. Hurry up! Hurry up! Everybody down! What a moment this must have been to live through. There it is. <laughs> Looking up at us. Something? Ron Howard. Does that mean Bryce Dallas Howard will have a cameo in this one too? <laughs> Apollo 8, we were so close. I want to go back there. Where's my mountain? <laughs> it's uh, right up by the... Did he like name something after her? <laughs> That's really cute. The astronaut is only the most visible member of a very large team. This is divine inspiration, folks. Things like... A computer that can fit into a single room. And that is so funny to me. The computers used to be, like, so huge. Asking why we're continuing to fund this program now that we've beaten the Russians. If Christopher Columbus had come back from the New World and no one returned in his footsteps. Yeah, honestly, yeah. that feels like kind of a dumb question. Why are we still giving you money if you already did it one time? Yeah. Uh, Jim, can I have a minute? Something's come up. Everybody home! But you are not wearing that out in this neighborhood. That's the end of it. Hey, everybody. Jim. Yeah. Trick or treat. Happy Halloween. Vacation trip we had planned for Acapulco. I was thinking uh, there might be a slight change in destination. He's going to the moon. The moon. <gasps> We've all been bumped up to the prime crew of Apollo 13. Dad, can I please wear this? Sure. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, that's so real. I'm just like, yeah, why? Oh, oh no. no, no, no. Mom says no. They're not rushing things, are they? I mean, you're going to be ready in six months? Naturally, it's 13. Why 13? It comes after 12, huh? It's an unlucky number. Unless you're Taylor Swift. 4B is stable. Slop panels are drifting free. The drogue is clear. Let me, uh, just try and get her stable here. The windows are so itty bitty. 20. Captain. That's it. it. Wasn't perfect. Used up too much fuel. Ah, uh, you above the curve. Mm. Work it again. Hey, we got to be up with the Dawn Patrol. If the guy says he wants to practice, maybe you should listen to him. Well, yeah, let's get it right. this is a one of those okay, professions again, where, Frank. like, being a perfectionist is great. Please mm -hmm. be a perfectionist. Your it life really, is at like, stake. It doesn't take much for things no. to like go wrong. Good shape over here. Kid, get your helmet on! It's like a nightmare or something. <sighs> is I was gonna say, is it his wife? Fall down. Oh. That's silly. Stars can't fall. I'd be thinking about that. Yeah, are you kidding? I'd be That's so scary. Worried. Shoots us away from the earth. 
only holds two people, and it's just for landing on the moon. Better than Neil Armstrong. <laughs> Did you know the astronauts on the fire? Could that happen again? He's... <sighs> A lot of things went wrong. The, uh, the door. They couldn't get it open when they needed to get out. Did they fix it? Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, I guess it's kind of reassuring that, like, multiple things have to go wrong for something yeah. catastrophic to happen, but it still happens. It's a very busy week. I'm thinking about not going to the launch. Just, I just don't think I can go through all that. She's scared. Oh. I'll just be glad when this one's over. Well, you're going to miss a hell of a show. I, I see both sides. Like, she's... she's allowed to say she doesn't want to be there for it you know there was a couple of like failed missions and disasters that yeah. like people for like until those things happened people forget like this is crazy humans going into space is so intricate and like difficult and yeah. we just like casually did it so much that like people were like forgetting that oh no this is super dangerous people can still die things can still explode yeah. like so the number 13 doesn't bother you Oh my gosh. Lifting off at 1300 hours and 13 minutes, entering the moon's gravity on April 13th. It's just a number, guys. Why is this your last, Jim? I'm in command of the, the best ship with the best crew. I can't imagine uh, ever topping that. Quit while you're ahead. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he feels very mature. I'm sure that his wife being so freaked out is also going to play into that, though. But that's also, that's very, I think that's Fair thoughtful, tomorrow, too. Yeah. But if he really loves to do it, I worry We're going to be going it. over the flight plan tonight. Is yeah. I mean, he still gets to be a part of things, though. Like, he's obviously a very yeah. important person at NASA. We the thing is, though, some people really we enjoy the, the, the risk lab. of their occupations, you know? Yeah. We've all been exposed to it. Well, I've had the measles. Ken Mattingly has it. You, you want to break up my crew two days before the launch? Uh-oh. We can either scrub Mattingly and go with Swagger. Well, we can bump all three of you to a later mission. This is hard, because you really, you don't want him to get the measles up there in space. Yeah, no. But also, Jim, like, you hold out swapping Ken, out a person two days Apollo before. Like, yeah, I, I kind of think you just, you can't go through with the flight. I, I, I gotta take that. Because I'm on the backup crew. Oh, is oh, this... Oh, Kevin Bacon. I... Yes. Yes, sir. Good for him, he's excited. But this poor guy yeah. who can't go. Damn. They're perfectionists too, who wanted to make sure everything was perfect. Well, Swigert, he'll he'll be fine. He's strong. He's taking it pretty well. Houston, we are at 400,000 feet, passing entry interface. I got a car to light. We're coming in too shallow. Three Gs. Five Gs. Careful. Deep. I'm gonna stay in this roll, see if I can pull this out of it. We're at 8 G's. 8 G's? We're at 12 G's. 12 G's, we're running up. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you die <laughs> if it gets that high. Came in too steep. We're dead. Jim, could we have a word? Sure, deep. What does deep want? This is your idea. Like. <laughs> well, we have two days. We'll be ready. Let's do it again. We don't want Daddy to get any of our germs and get sick and- Hey, boys. Hey, guys. Oh, did she come to say goodbye? Well, hey, that looks like Marilyn Lovell. I heard it was going to be a hell of a show. So who told you that? Oh. Be walk on the moon. Yeah, yeah, be walking. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Do they have to wear all that stuff when they're in their suits? Because- don't they monitor vitals and things? So. Like... Oh. I knew I was saying like, oh, it's just a number, it's fine. There seems to be a lot of bad luck, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I would get so claustrophobic so fast. Yeah, and you have to like train your eyes, I think, too, because you can get really nauseous because it's like a fishbowl effect. Marilyn, hey, Mary. I'm not 
just about to pop, are you? No, I got 30 days till this blast off. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Jean. Mrs. Krantz has pulled out the old needle and thread again. That's sweet. That was cute. This guy. This guy. I don't I don't remember this actor's name. I don't know, but he was in a beautiful mind. <laughs> Give me a go no go for launch. Booster. Go. Retro. Go. Surgeon. Go flight. Ecom. Or go flight. GNC. We're go. There's so many things. <laughs> Pad leader, what's your status? We are go for launch. It's so wild that they launch. They're launching in Florida. And then like yeah. controls like all the way back in Houston. <laughs> yep. Aw, he's still gonna watch it. It's okay, bro. I'm sure later you'll be very happy we're not on this flight. We are go for launch. 12, 11, 1, ignition. That's a cool shot. We have liftoff. Houston, we have cleared the tower in 13, 13. Wow. Oh my gosh. The physics of this is so insane. Mm -hmm. And you just like leave that part. You're like, okay, we're done with that. That part of the rocket now. Tower jet. Well, and this is 1970 space technology. So obviously yeah. things well, have changed and developed, it was but like, like we, it's, it's, 13, we've got it's pretty recent that they have been the able to like, it's so recent, you know, keep the, we've, we've, had to do things kind of the same way for the last couple that decades. Flight looks like we lost it. Mm -hmm. it's, what's that gonna it's do so to complicated. It? There's so Stand many moving parts. I need yeah. to know if the I have no idea what's happening. They're saying all these words, not a clue what's going yeah. on. Looks good. We're still go. We'll be alright as long as we don't lose another one. Looks like we just had our glitch for this mission. Don't say that. <laughs> Losing even more stuff. Cut down. And that, gentlemen, is how we do that. Wow. I've exchanged couches with Jim. I'm in the pilot seat. <sighs> That's very much something I could not, I could not handle. <laughs> in zero gravity. Okay, Swigert, command module pilot. Houston, we've got a good separation. How's the alignment? GDC? Align? It looks... it looks okay. Oh. He's scraping a bit. Catch. I think, yep, yeah, but I think he's got it. It's just like Houston. the most nerve-wracking parking test Rod. ever. <laughs> Parallel parking on steroids. Mm hmm. We have lamb extraction. Oh, we copy that 13. Well, let me clean this up. Now I'm getting nervous because I, I know I don't know like what goes wrong. I yeah, that's the thing that when it comes to the technical stuff, so much of it is just like I, I just hear it as like space talk. So I don't understand. So I have no idea when in the timeline the danger happens. Barbara, we are going to your father's broadcast. Oh, she's still going on about the stupid Beatles breaking up. Oh. The whole world is going to be watching this broadcast, young lady. And so are we. Listen, it's okay to be upset that your favorite brand, band I is get breaking it. up. But go support your father. I'm Jim Lovell, and uh, we're broadcasting to you tonight. Uh, hit it there, Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> Just being goofy dads. Yeah, it's cute. Where's their broadcast? All the networks dumped us. What the heck? My son's supposed to be on. He's in outer space. This is all the channels we get, Mrs. Lovell. That sucks. Savage back Not a single masters. network will air it. I dream of genies on instead. Of I dream of genie instead of people going to the moon. Do they know they're not on the air? We'll tell them when they get back. Oh, that's so... that's... 
So embarrassing. Oh yeah, no, I would be so the, uh, embarrassed. The IRS is watching. I forgot to file my 1040 return. Of it. That's oh. no joke. They'll jump on him. It's true. The IRS, they'll come after you. Doesn't matter who yeah, you are. Yeah, you don't say that. The uh, skin of the lamb in some places is only as thick as a couple of uh, layers of tin foil, and that's all that. Don't say things like that. That's. Return to the man. Stand by one, Houston. Gotcha. <laughs> can't be pranking people in the spaceship. Every time with that one. Yeah, no. This guy's having a little too much fun and like it's adorable and okay. good for him, but not here, no. Not right now. Our next broadcast will be on the surface of the moon. This is the crew of the Apollo 13, wishing everyone back on Earth a pleasant evening. <laughs> Nobody even watched it, I feel so bad. Uh, we got a couple of housekeeping procedures for you. We give your oxygen tanks a stir. Uh-oh. The dang electrical problems. Or something. What just happened? Yeah, where was that? Hey, we've got a problem here. Whoa. Hey. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. That's a classic. Line. Oh, there's another master alarm, Houston. I'm checking the quad. Christ, not a pin these light. Fire doesn't make any sense. We got multiple caution and warning, Houston. Oh my gosh, all the lights coming on is really stressful. Yeah. Gosh, all the lights and all the words and all the like the systems and. O2 tank two not reading at all. Tank one is at uh, 725 psi and falling. Oh my God, losing pressure in the oxygen tanks. Oh boy, what's going on here? Flight, let me get back to you. Flight, they're all over the place. They keep going close to gimbal lock. It's reading a quadruple failure. That can't happen. It's what do you mean it can't happen? It might have been hit by a meteor. Yep. The tunnel's yeah, really like torn with all the fluid. Can't or is it improbable? Yeah. If it's yeah. improbable, then it can happen. A undervolt. Houston, we have a main plus A undervolt now too. Uh, Cause they like lost part part of some. We've been hit by a meteor. We'd be dead by now. I'm gonna try to get us out of this lurch. Uh, you're in the mud. Did you say switch to Omni? Oh gosh, this is scary. Honestly, we need a confirmation. What system do you have down? Oh, there's like a hole. Yeah, I don't like not knowing what's going on and what's breaking. Like, how would you know? We the audience knows because they're showing us the outside of the spacecraft, but I don't know how to like. We got a main bus B under volt. Pressure. All I know is they're pushing buttons, and I'll, I can just pray they push the right ones. There's a mirror. It looks like he can see a little bit, at least. We are venting something out into space. I can see it outside of window one right now. Is it oxygen? It's got to be the oxygen. Oh my god. That's like one of the scariest things to be losing. Now let's start right back on the beginning. Is that a Madrid four the panic, the chaos. Yeah, it's not good. Quiet down. Let's stay cool, people. Mm -hmm. One at a time. Hey, take a look at the O2 on number one. O2, tank two, steel zero. Tank one, 218 PSI and fall. Did they like lose the other oxygen tank? Is that what happened? Let's look at Is this like, thing from a- uh, Into space now? From a uh, standpoint of status. Cause it happened when he tried to like stir yeah. the tanks is what he said. The ship's bleeding to death. I recommend we uh, shut down the reactant valves of the fuel cell. You close them, you can't open them again. You can't land on the moon with one healthy fuel cell. Is it about the moon anymore, though? From my chair here, this is the last option. It's more important for them to come back alive than to land yeah, on the moon. Very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, say. You gotta do what you gotta do. We want you to close react valves on cells one and three. We think that closing the react valves may stop the leak. He gotta do it. Did he copy that? Do you copy, Jim? Yes, Houston, we copy. Better to lose the moon than your life. Yeah, I yeah, I know Let's it's so what disappointing, but we gotta prioritize. Well, and I don't really know what the systems are for this. Like, is this really the chance? This doesn't work. Or is it the kind of thing where they could We're go not back have and enough power keep left to get astronauts and they might get a chance down the line? Uh, Houston, uh, O2 on one is still falling. Fredo, how long does it take to power up the limb? Three hours by the checklist. Three hours? 15 minutes of oxygen and that's it. The command module will be dead. Moving the astronauts over to the yeah, limb. We gotta, gotta get some oxygen up there. This is, this is serious now, you guys. We're shutting down the command module at the same time. We'll have to transfer the guidance system. Lunar module just became a lifeboat. 
Wow. You gotta get the guidance program transferred. You gotta do it before you're out of power. We're looking at less than 15 minutes of life support in the Odyssey. That is so scary. Like, we got 15 minutes you just to, have to keep calm. Than thought. You're like, I could yeah. be dead in 15 minutes, but I have to do all this work. Man, there's a lot of debris floating around out there. I'm gonna need your gimbal angles, Jack, before you shut down the computer. I wish I knew what was going on I so know. I could tell if they were doing a good job or not. I assume they are. Now, Jack, we need to proceed with steps. You're down to uh, about eight minutes <sighs> remaining. You gotta do math in your time of crisis, too. I've uh, completed these gimbal conversions, but uh, I need a double check of the arithmetic. Stand by, we're checking it. Like, what even is, what even are those calculations? Directions and, uh... All right. Good here. He's good, Andy. Okay, we'll go on those numbers. That's smart. Everyone take a different problem so we can all be done at the same time and say good, 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 good. Yeah. See, I think that's what's the scariest about it's space is the fact York, that, like, when you're measuring well, distance, yeah. you have to measure in all directions and in all, di like, all of those dimensions, mm -hmm. which we don't really have when we're uh, walking on a flat surface. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. at least we always know gravity. that. Yeah. yeah. You always know at least one plane, but this is, like, there's just so much. Did you read the three million, what do you say, less viewers or fewer viewers? Three million These jokes are going to be in such bad taste when the public finds out what happened. Ooh. Well, Borman is here. At ABC News, Jules Bergman. The Apollo 13. He turned it off right when it. Ugh. Are making their way through the tunnel to the lunar module, using it as a lifeboat, so they'll have electrical. I'm kind of surprised they're reporting this. An electrical failure. What exactly does that mean? The emergency and could endanger the lives of the astronauts themselves. If Why are they reporting this? I don't know. I guess they. Back to Earth. What do you mean? There's no just immediate danger. I just were that. losing oxygen. I mean, they're not like. There's no footage or anything. It's not graphic. Will be used in aborting the mission and getting the. I'm just surprised that they'll like Earth. as it's actively still happening. They're releasing information. Our RCS isn't up here yet. We have no attitude control on Aquarian. Control? What the hell happened? I don't know. We just want to uh, figure it out. I'm trying to pitch it down, but we're yawn to the left. We're designed to fry tax like it's our set. Aquarius, watch that middle gimbal. Before I'm using, I'm well aware of the goddamn gimbals. <laughs> uh, Aquarius, uh, this is Houston. We got you both on box. You have a hot mic. We're reading everything you say. Listen, he's stressed. It's okay. Why are there so many people here? Something broke on your daddy's spaceship. He's going to have to turn around before he even gets to the moon. Is it the door? <gasps> Ooh, no. Computer off. Roger that, Houston. Better put on your spacesuits for some extra warmth. Did they shut us all down in there? Yeah. I want you all to forget the flight plan. From this moment on, we are improvising. Hmm, that's <laughs> fun. That's really fun. Oh, come on. Well, Sorry, but we'll get somebody to look at that. Yeah, oh. Even the overhead projector doesn't work. They are here. We turn around, straight back, yes. direct abort. No. Oh, the There's just so much talking. I can't. I agree with Jerry. Okay. Use the moon's gravity slingshot them around. No, the lem will not. Ooh. Once we get the guys around the moon, we'll fire up the lem engine. We designed the lem to land on the moon, not fire the engine. Yeah. I don't care what anything was designed to do. I care about what it can do. After this burn, we've got to build some time in the flight plan for them to get some sleep. I mean, yeah. They 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 can't be running off of zero sleep. From a flight director. Yeah. Who wanted a quote? The president. The president Nixon. Oh, I guess. Now the president. Gotta give him odds. Five to one against, three to one. Oh I don't think gosh. they're that good. We are not losing. It's like five to one? He's like, I don't even think they're that good? Oh, no. Expect loss of signal in less than one minute. You want to look? At least you can look at the moon. Closer than yeah. almost anyone will ever get in their lifetime. Where is that 30 seconds? I think he may have already been close. Like before. this before. Yeah. Yeah, I think he might have been in orbit before, so. Coming up on Mount Maryland. Jim, you gotta take a look at this. Jim, you objectively do have to see it, though. We expect loss of signal in approximately 10 seconds. Catch you on the flip side. It just goes dark, because they're on the dark side of the moon. Go into the shadow of the moon and, and, the, and the, you see stars that are more brilliant than anything you've ever seen. But I bet it's so cold. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. <sighs> you can only give our guys 45 
hours brings them to about there. We gotta turn everything off. They're not gonna make it to re-entry. In 16 hours, the batteries are dead, not 45. Oh, yeah. The minute we finish the burn, we'll power down the limb. I want people in our simulators, working re-entry scenarios. I want this mark all the way back to Earth with time to spare. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not gonna lose one on my watch. He's a good leader. Good, you're not dead. I'm trying to get in touch with you for 45 minutes. He doesn't know what's going on. Gotta get you in the simulators. We gotta ship yeah. the land. There's been an explosion. What about the crew? The crew's fine so far. Nobody's too sure how much power we're gonna have when we hit re-entry. You know, maybe it was a good thing he stayed behind. He can do a lot of good down here. Uh, Ken Mattingly just got here. Copy. The exact same conditions we've got in there now. Don't give me anything they don't have on board. Mm. Let's get this show on the road. So that leaves us with just the computer, which I'm shutting down now. We just put Sir Isaac Newton in the driver's seat. That's so scary. They're like, I'm just gotta trust that physics will take us there. This is running a temperature and none of them has slept. Situation brewing with the carbon dioxide. We had a CO2 filter problem on the lunar module. What? Filters on the limb. Which are meant for two guys for a day and a half. And they're already up to eight on the gauges. Anything over 15 and you get... Oof. Oh no. What about the scrubbers on the command module? They take square cartridges. The ones on the limb are round. There's so many problems! Okay, people, listen up. We gotta find a way to make this fit into the hole for this. Oh. It's better. It's kind of a tower for live broadcast. What the heck, guys? Can't be setting up your reporting on her front lawn. Oh. He's not looking good. Guys, you should put on your hats that you had. It was an accident. Mary getting pregnant. He's got to get home because she's he's about to have a new baby. I wonder if it's a boy or a girl. You're going to find out soon enough. Sure. Oh, no, don't lose hope. Come on. Have they called up with a re-entry plan yet? Because we're coming in too shallow. At this rate, we're going to skip right out of the atmosphere, and we're never going to get back. How would you figure that? I can add. That's not what he meant. <laughs> what if they had made a mistake, all right, and there was no way to reverse it? Do you think they would tell us? I'm trying to tell you we're coming in too fast. I... Ow! God <laughs> damn it! Hey! No, be careful. The thing we got left, Jack. Let's not fight. All I did was stir those tanks. What was that gauge reading before he hit the switch? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't tell me how to fly. We don't need to start blaming each other. Guys, this is not my fault. I just asked you what the gauge is reading. All right, we're not. And you don't know. All right, look, we're not doing this, gentlemen. We figure out how to stay alive. Where is this, Houston? Are we on Vox? No, we're not on Vox. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine? <laughs> CO2 measurement has jumped four notches in the last hour. I'd be right. I went over those numbers three times. Oh, Christ. All right. I only figured it for two people. Bruh. <laughs> Deadly CO2 gas is literally poisoning the astronauts with every breath in and out. Heads up, heads up. Did they figure something out? What's this? That's what they gotta make. Well, I hope you got the procedures for me. Right here. That's it? All right, let's do it. We have a, uh, an unusual procedure for you here. You ripped the cover off the flight plan. You took two lithium hydroxide canisters. Duct tape. They're so crafty. Yeah. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. DIY space escape. Mm -hmm. With each breath, the three men expel more of the poisonous gas into the lunar module cockpit. And the That's crazy. We as humans breathe out gas that is toxic to us. <laughs> yeah, that it's wild. Uh oh. Once you have the sock in place, we're gonna want you to right above the limb can. We're getting close to fifteen. Ooh. Houston filters in place. Aquarius, uh, please advise of CO2 status. Whew. CO2 level has dropped to nine, and it is still falling. Good work, guys. Okay, spacecraft control to the computer. <sighs> the sequence was wrong. We just have to go back and try on one of the. <sighs> oh my gosh. Hi, Grandma. I was going to say Jimmy. Now there's been an explosion. But now they're just going to try to figure out a way to get them home. Oh no. Oh. No. Can't have the kids crying. I know. Oh. Kids <laughs> crying makes me cry. I know. Don't you worry, honey. If they could get a washing machine to fly, my Jimmy could land it. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. 
Yeah. He uses running a fever of 104. Uh, 13. Oh, no. We've had another one. You go to the hospital when your fever's no, yeah, that high. That's... that's... Getting tired knowing how my kidneys are functioning. Wait, I just lost... He's like, oh my gosh, he's dead. He's like, no, he ripped the vital thing off. Uh, Jim, we just had a dropout on your biomed sensors. I'm not wearing my biomed sensors. All right. Cannot... As long as you're not dead. Flight, now I'm losing all three of them. It's just a little medical mutiny, Doc. <laughs> They've only been in space for six days, which is like a very short amount of time. But yeah. I mean, it, it's not the velocity. It's condensed. It's the like, it's, yeah. They've been... I mean, maybe they're... they're... The, things have been going wrong for a while. Damn it. At this rate, they nick the Earth's atmosphere and bounce off into space. <gasps> Is a frozen hot dog? Delicious. Oh my gosh, it's like a rock. Got another course correction for you. It's gonna take Fredo and I a while to power up the computer for the uh, alignment. Negative on that, Jim. Do you have to do it blind? Uh, Houston, without the computer, what do we use for orientation? Talking about reference? No, no, there's no references. We have a bunch of wasn't the Earth outside the window? And all we need to hold attitude is one fixed point in space. Well, Houston, we've got... You called it. I guess that's the best we can do, Glenn. We're out of time. The crew must aim for a corridor just two and a half degrees wide. If they're too shallow, they'll ricochet off the atmosphere like... That's crazy. If this basketball were the Earth, the crew would have to hit a target no thicker than this piece of paper. I'm glad that they're showing us news clips to be like... This is what's going on for the people who don't understand the, yeah. the no, like I really fancy. The engine's never been tried like this. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Turn the engines and steer it manually, attempting to keep the earth. How do their families just like have to keep functioning? Okay, this is gonna I take guess, all three it's been days. Like imagine just like Fredo? going about your daily routine, waiting. The kids have to keep going to school. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of what people do when, like, their, their the spouses starts drifting are down, you need to in combat somewhere, aft, you know, or in the military, not forward. you know, or in, like, actual danger. You just have to, like, live with it, but I don't think I could. Hey, Jim, you can fire when ready. Text plus button at 10 seconds. Mark. Oh, my gosh. Come to the right a little bit. 15 seconds. She dripped in, I'm losing attitude. Oh, my gosh, they're, like... I guess it's like a listening NASA specific. I'm sure they gave it just to her. Forward, Fred. Come on. Forward. But the fact that she can listen to it. That's still pretty wild. Like, that would be horrifying to hear. Six, back, seven, back, seven, back, seven, back, seven, back, seven, back. Shut down. Oh, my gosh. Did it work? Houston, we have shut down. That's close enough, Jim. Knew it! Knew it! How about that limb, huh? You did not, in fact, know it, dude. Well, let's hope we don't have to do that again. There's so many cigarettes in there. Well, they've just been doing this non-stop. Giving our guys enough to survive till re-entry. Well done. Oh, as long as nothing else goes wrong. So tell me about the power uh, procedures. Why would you Here's say the that? Order what I want to do. <laughs> you know what you're doing. <laughs> it's a movie. I, I don't just... know. I actually... That's the thing. I don't know a lot about the history. They're gonna need all these systems, Jan. We do not have the power, Ken. Sir Jim Lovell has more time and space, almost 24 days already. Wow. And I asked him recently if he ever was scared. Well, I tell you, I remember this one time, uh, everything shorts out right there in my cockpit. All in the darkness, there's this green trail, and it was the algae. You, uh, you never know what, what events are going to transpire to get you home. After that monologue, they're like, we can cast him as, uh, what's his name? <laughs> the pilot, Sully. <laughs> How's it going, Fred? I'm okay. What the hell was that? Oh uh, Houston, God. can you confirm a burst helium disc? Is that going to affect our uh, entry Same angle up. at all? No, negative. Your entry <sighs> angle is holding at 6.2. Yeah, but that's what that's what they say for now. Yeah. We sure could use the re-entry procedure up here. When can we expect that? Guys, we still don't have how they're going gonna... <laughs> to... We still don't have it? We just can't throw this together at the last minute. And we're going to go over it step by step so there's no foul ups. They need time to, like, know. They don't know how to do it. Jim, we're going to get that power up procedure to you as soon as we possibly can. Ken Mattingly's in the simulator right now. That's reassuring. 
I was gonna say, if it's Ken, I feel like we're in good hands. The sequence looks good. We're just over budget on the amperage. By how much? Three or four amps. Four or amps. Reverse the flow and see if we can draw these four amps from the LEM batteries before we cut it loose. Hmm. We don't have a procedure for that, do we? You're gonna lose a lot in the transfer, Ken. Yeah, yeah, but all- We just need four amps. I am use up. How am I reading? Here we go. I like that they're giving me a nice visual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'd be like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but I'm like, the line needs to reach the thing. Is your computer on now? Up and running. And it's under. You're under. I think we got it, buddy. <gasps> oh, good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, that is smart. This is the sequence. Has it tried it on the hardware yet? We yeah, we read you, Ken. Blanche, these nice young men are gonna watch the television. This is Neil Armstrong, and this is Bud. Oh my gosh. Are you boys in the space program, too? <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh she only cares about one man in the space program, and that's her son. Well, I'm having trouble reading my own writing. I'm a little more tired than I thought. Uh, don't worry, Jack. I'll talk you through it. Close main bus B. There's an awful lot of condensation on these panels. What's the word on these things shorting out? Oh, that's a good question. We'll just uh, take that one at a time, Jack. It's like trying to drive a toaster through a car wash. Oh, t a terrifying analogy. We're still shallowing up a bit in the reentry corridor. It's almost like they're underway. We didn't land on the moon. Rocks. Oh, they were gonna bring back space rocks. There's all these little things I would never think about that like mess it up. They'd lit yeah, because you have to calculate every single thing. So if they go wrong, it's gonna be totally not at all like what they calculated. Yeah, you must have to plan for like thousands of outcomes. The logic. Two on. CMRCS pressure. No. <laughs> Only the Lovell's eldest son, Jay, is absent at the St. John's Military Academy in Wisconsin. ABC News. Oh. We're ready to see if the computer will accept a blink of the reentry data now. We didn't blow up! Blink completed. <laughs> I always have to wait for verbal confirmation mm -hmm. to celebrate. I'm like, you need to explain to me that the good thing happened and not the bad thing, because I won't be able to tell it from just numbers. Mm -hmm. Flight, this is retro. Go retro. Flight, we are looking at a typhoon warning. Are you kidding me? Oh. Flight, we are what? At a typhoon warning on the edge of the prime recovery area. Now this is just. A this is just like laughably bad luck. This is yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's like it's like curse, curse level. Yes. One. And they're like, Two. <laughs> we are gonna run. get you back to Earth when we get to Earth. We're low. <laughs> you might be in the middle of a typhoon. Oh my God. Okay, so we're detaching now. Okay. So that's good. Yeah, because we're really close. Yes. Houston, we're getting our first look at the service module now. Ooh. One whole side of the spacecraft is missing. Wow. The whole panel is blown out. Right up to our heat shield. They've got the engine bell too. Can you see that? Imagine being like, oh, we were just inside of that moments yeah. ago. <laughs> like the heat shield. The heat will build up to as much as three or four thousand oh. degrees. Did they lose the heat shield for re-entry? The heat shield is even slightly cracked. The extreme cold could have split it wide open. Pyrotechnics that control the parachutes have been damaged. <sighs> The spacecraft to hit the water, not at a gentle 20 miles per hour, suicidal 300. In Rome, Pope Paul led 50,000 people. Wow, the whole world is watching. It's about time to bail out of this ship, Fredo. Did he like pass out? Freeze. Come on, give him. Can you hold out just a little longer? Give him a hug. Body heat. Oh, come on. A little while longer, Fredo. I can't imagine how awful it would be being really sick on top of everything that's going on. We're coming up on Lem Jettison. Kind of used to the pilot seat. She's yours to fly. Oh, he got in the rock seat. <laughs> what is that? I was getting a little punchy and I didn't want to cut the Lem loose with you guys still in it. That's, that's a good thing. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. When you're exhausted, you might do something stupid by accident. We have Lunar Module Jettison.
trajectory may be off, the thrusters may be frozen, the heat shield could be cracked, and clearly we have some obstacles. I thought there was Thanks. gonna be a butt. Me too. I was <laughs> what waiting the for heck? the butt. For three minutes. If they're not back in four, we'll know. Wow. So they're gonna get a blackout, and then they're just gonna see if they come back? And we are aligned for re entries. Jim, we're gonna need that computer re entry program. For Flight, they're still shallowing a bit up there. Do you wanna tell them? Is there anything we could do about it? Not now, then don't do it. Don't. Well, I mean, if there's nothing you can do, don't stress them yeah, out. I guess. Parachute situation, the heat shield, the angle of trajectory, and the typhoon. There's just so many variables. I'm, I believe this is going to be our finest hour. You gotta believe you can do it. Manifesting. Yeah. And also, like at this point, I expect entry I get it. interface. There's a and... lot of obstacles to overcome. But if like the last week has proved anything, it's that. This is not predictable. You cannot predict the outcome. I believe in you, heat shield. Flight, we have loss of radio contact. Uh, uh, now just we just check our watches for yeah. three minutes. Oh man. It depends on the heat shield. Looks like a possibly the most pancake. stressful three minutes of everybody's life. Look at all that yeah, water. Oh my gosh. Because it was all frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's melting. Wonder if Fred feels warmer. Honestly, I would just close my eyes and hope for the best. We're waiting for first Coming radar down down contact. Three minutes until no re-entering ship has ever taken longer than three minutes. Oh, to emerge. guys, stop, stop with the, the negative. Listen, the news, gosh. that's how they be, though. <laughs> You're squishing me. I'm sorry, sweetie. They got the priest there and everything. You gotta bring everyone, I guess. Okay, flight, that's three minutes. Odyssey Houston, do you read me? The time when the astronauts were expected to come out of blackout has come and gone. That's four minutes. Oh, shoots. They gotta draw Hello, it out. Houston, this is Odyssey. It's good to see you again. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm gonna like cry from like relief. I know, man. <laughs> it just... Ooh, this felt, this was so grounded. The movie's not over. I'm already like talking about it like it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, well, we landed. We're back on Earth. That's, we did that's it. what we were here to see. Glad to um, see you. No, it just it's like it's so real that I'm, yeah. I'm, I feel like my my family member is lost in space. I'm like, oh my gosh, come back, Jim. Gotta go get him and take our boy Fred to a hospital, please. Yeah, really. Maybe just being back on Earth, he'll be feeling a little better. Aww. Aww. Ooh, that bad boy is burnt up on the outside. <laughs> I'd be like, can I take a nap for like four days straight, oh gosh, please now? Yeah, really? It was determined that a damaged coil built inside the oxygen tank sparked during our cryo stir and caused the explosion. Mm. Fred Hayes was going back to the moon on Apollo 18, but his mission was canceled because of budget cuts. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's no Apollo 18. Nor did Jack no, Swagger, isn't. but it's so who left the astronaut corps and was elected to Congress. Oh. But he died of cancer before he was. Oh. Ken Mattingly orbited the moon as command module pilot of Apollo 16 and flew the space shuttle. Good for him. The seven extraordinary days of Apollo 13 were my last in space. Yeah, I would never go back into space after that. I look up at the moon and wonder when will we be going back, and who will that be? We didn't get a reunion with his family. What the heck? No, honestly, they were like, yeah, we don't care. You don't need to see him and his wife. They were just what the there heck? to be, you know, the emotional core of the no, story. No, yeah, seriously. Every time they cut back to the family, I was like, oh, try not to cry challenge. Yeah. Well, I th honestly, I think that's why they were there. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I liked it. I mean, honestly, it was just kind of real. Mm-hmm. It just felt real you know what i mean like it felt and actually i can't say historically whether it was real but in terms of like 
yeah trying I, to portray those events i think mm-hmm. it was clear that there was a you know a lot of care put into like making it realistic and how would people react in these situations and what are what are the responses in an emergency situation like this so i don't know i don't have that much to say (laughs) uh yeah it was a long one i will say Mm -hmm. yeah it was a little long it was a little long i feel like in terms of like justifying its runtime this is probably one of the better ones like i there's an argument that could be made it didn't feel like it went on forever like some other movies that we have seen (laughs) Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Well, and it, you kind of know exactly what the story is going to be from start to finish because mm-hmm. well, uh, that was the other thing I was kind of wondering. I'm like, how are they going to keep me on the edge of my seat when I know how this ends? Like, I I know everyone survives. Yeah, you know. So where are those? Where's that tension going to be? You know, how are they going to make me feel like these characters are in danger? Um, and I think, I think they did that in parts. I will say like, there was so much technical talk, (laughs) which is really good for like immersion and Mm -hmm. feeling like immersed in the world. But at a certain point I was just kind of like, it was in one ear and out the other with like code names and terminology and whatnot, because I was like, I don't have the handbook to translate your terms. So I just kind of had to shut my brain off and follow along. I, I think I've been doing that with space movies a lot more lately too. I feel like I did that with Gravity as well. You know, maybe I just, we got to stop watching space movies. <laughs> <laughs> or the ones that are like trying to be realistic. Yeah, just cause it's so, I don't know. I get so overwhelmed. And it's cause like, I, I want to, I like imagining what it would be like to be in the world. Like, I think that's not uncommon to like want to feel really immersed. But then Mm -hmm. when it comes to films like this, there's just, there's so much. There's so much to the job and there's so much to the event and there's so many details, you know? Um, And that's the thing is like, they could explain it to us every step of the way and they could be like, and then we push this button and it does this and blah, blah, blah. But that would be at the cost of the realism. So Mm -hmm. I think it's a balance. I think I need to like, watch i think we we need to watch some some less serious movies because we've watched (laughs) some like really really serious movies i keep trying to make us cry man i keep trying to make us cry and like get stressed out and get worried and man i have enough stress in my life as it is (laughs) it's november we're almost at the end of the year but um this one was yeah it was it was fun and i I guess I I know it's like these were some of the the most well-known actors, I guess, of this decade, you know, of the 90s. And Mm -hmm. Tom Hanks is incredible in everything and like believable in everything. And the guy who plays Lieutenant Dan, the actor's name, I don't know. Um, And the other guy who we knew, Ed Harris, was in this. Like there, there are a lot of really talented actors just during this time who keep popping up in these movies that we've been watching lately in the green mile and in Shawshank Redemption and whatnot. Um, and I don't know, I think like you can really feel it. And I, I almost, it's, I don't know which of them are still alive and which are not, but I feel like I never see them in, in films anymore. So I'm going to miss it when, once we've watched kind of through our, our nineties films, (laughs) that'll be next. So, Yeah. yeah. Any other comments? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I need a moment to like emotionally recover from yeah, all of that. I, I'm um, pretty worn out. I think I get yeah, it. It's the high tension mm-hmm. stories, man. They get you. Yeah, they they really get you. Um, I don't think I'm glad it wasn't as stressful as I thought. Like that seems weird to say because it was still an incredibly stressful movie. Um, but I feel like almost like Gravity was worse. I think there's something for me, like, there's something about, like, an individual 
in like a space suit, free floating in space, that is extremely more stressful for me. Then I was like, yeah, you know, we got our three guys and I believe in that they're competent and they all know what they're doing. And we have thousands of people on the ground working for us too. all of us working towards this one goal. I believe that if we all do it, we can we can get through this. So it wasn't as bad as I thought. (laughs) Yeah, the whole team makes a difference. And Uh, space travel has changed. So now there isn't like that's the thing. Now there aren't hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people all wired into exactly what's going on like that's and watching gravity back it's like that's how much we've evolved like yeah it's changed so much to the point where the kind of stuff that was going on in gravity is just like routine maintenance like nothing special you know so yeah i do think it's a lot more stressful because in this circumstance since it's one of the first times you know that they're extra cautious and there's a bunch of people on it brainstorming ideas and nowadays i guess you go up and you you go into like the space station or you go mm-hmm. into orbit and they're just you do like, some work right, and then you come back trip. in go, like yeah, a month or go something duct tape something together and then return but anyways i i think i think space is cool i think it's kind of sad that we don't send more people to the moon kind of wish we could but um, yeah eh. It's hard to say. I mean, they keep saying commercial space travel is going to be a thing at some point. But so. after watching all these movies, I'm like, oh, oh I, don't I know will never them. go. And it's not I because I could never afford it, which I could never. Yeah. But, <laughs> but also I would choose never, ever yeah. to go to space. Sorry. <laughs> we'll see. You know, I guess the next we're, we're young. We're so we're so young and we have so many decades of space travel ahead of us. So I guess it's true. You know, we'll see. But. I like these movies because they're a nice little nugget of history. So thank you guys for recommending uh, and, you know, recommend other space movies. I'm pretty, I'm pretty over space. I'll be so real. Like, I'm a little tired. I'd like to stay grounded on Earth. On Earth, um, please. But yeah, <laughs> as always, full length reaction will be up on our Patreon along with early access to next week's reaction. Please check that out. And as always, thank you guys for being here, joining us and watching. And if you're new, please stick around. We'd love to have you. And if you do stick around, we will see you guys in the next reaction.